11 minus 5, which means 11 units minus 5 units, that would be 6 units. 10 minus 3, that means 10 units minus 3 units, so the answer would be 7 units or 7. 16 minus 9, that is 16 units minus 9 units. So the answer is 7 units. 14 minus 8. Now that would be 14 units minus 8 units. So the answer is 6 units. Or 6. 11 minus 8. That is 11 units minus 8 units. So the answer is 3 units or 3. Addition and Subtraction Gampu plucked 14 jambus from the tree and put them in his basket. Gampu, Nandu, Sonu and Moti all had two jambus each but Mani had only one. Nandu, we ate nine jambus altogether. Now, can we tell how many are left without looking in the basket? Sonu, what's so difficult? Take away 9 from 14. Gampu, let's count forward after 9 up to 14. We counted 5 numbers 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, so 14 minus 9 is 5. Moti, oh dear, I can't get this so quickly. Money, my method is different. 14 minus 4 is equal to 10. Isn't that easy? Moti. Yes, but we have to subtract 9. Money. Okay, we took away 4. We can take away 5 more. Nandu, we took away 4 from the units digit. Now, we will use the 10 and subtract the remaining 5. So, 10 minus 5 is equal to 5. Sonu, there's still another method. If you have practiced small additions well, and you remember that 9 plus 5 is 14, then you can tell at once that 14 minus 9 is 5. Moti, it means that we must practice small additions a lot. Otherwise, we can make two convenient parts of nine and subtract them one by one. Subtract. Now children, as Moti has told you, we need to practice small additions a lot. Then only we'll be able to solve the upcoming examples. 15 minus 8. Now 15 minus 8 is 7. Because 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. Did you get the connection? Alright. Next is 12 minus 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. As 7 plus 5 is 12. 13 minus 6. 13 minus 6 is 7. As 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. 
17 minus 9. 17 minus 9 is 8. As 9 plus 8 is 17. 14 minus 7. 14 minus 7 is 7. As 7 plus 7 is 14.